What's up guys, welcome to the video. So I've got a match for you today. This is round one. It's Ginyu against SS3. I believe it's uh, red blue. So uh, yeah, this is a relevant meta matchup. Uh, this was filmed at one of the locals that I went to this week. And yes, the first UK meta report should be coming out later on. Uh, so I would have been covering the week that just went from Monday to Sunday. And yes, so off we go. Not charging a green at first there, and going for the Balmer. SS3 getting two red, so that is good for him. Another bomb coming up. Um, again, you're probably not opening too well. He does have that cabin in hand, though. I think he has the whole veggie package and a shagash. So uh, yeah, sorry for the people going in front of the camera. Uh, there were quite a few people at the shop that's quite ca uh, cramped. So I think I, I will be switching to another view for the later rounds. So SS3 got Gohan coming in and uh, he chose to draw. Cabo comes out. I think he's already got Kalipa in hand there. Yeah, I think that's two. Leaf comes out and Ginyu should be down to 4 life now, so Ginyu can awaken. SS3 is on 5 I believe. So it does awaken, it's an explosive and the combo Goku, unbreakable. Can you really in a really strong position right now? I'm not sure how many cards are in SS3's hand. Attacking with the cover, wow. It's very aggressive. Takes it and the Khalifa as well. Is he pushing for game here? He has to be, right? Attacking with the bomb, we should get something out. And the combos, the Goku as well. Oh, and the. Whoa! Kappa and the Khalifa. So he's making sure this goes through. Very unexpected play there. Gets blocked. Very aggressive. Takes the Ginyu life as well with the leader, double strike. That's 25 double strike to leader. It's a lot of pressure on for SS3, but if he can survive this turn, he probably has the game. It's 
stop so not sure how many cards are in his hand though Kale swinging in I mean Ginyu must have something else he must have a foo or something there we go Double strike on the foo. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I will be switching next round. Takes the double, he uh, survives. Wow. Very, very aggressive turn from the Ginyu player there. It's possible that he gets Zeno this turn, or even a Topper could probably clear his board right now. Let's see if SS3 has the right play. Yellow is not on tap, so Bloodlust is not live. Chain attack. Zeno? Yep, yeah, Zeno hits the board. So our both players are very low life, and Zeno resets the board, but I believe the Ginyu is on two right now. Zeno swings in for 50, probably, does he combo? Well, that's just taken and turn is passed. So he was not able to capitalise on the Zeno. And looking at Gingy's hand, I think he, he has the Kaba, he has a Bloodlust. There goes the Kaba. The Kale's straight in there. First card. Again, apologies for that, guys. I will be switching to the other side. Ginyu got planned. I think he, he might have game here. He has the Shigash Kale. Swing with leader first. Topo comes out. So when SS3 has Weiss's coercion, I'm not sure if he can survive this. Is he gonna attack with the Cabo again? through his play, he does attack with the Kabra. We need to combo over though. Shigesh. Shigesh, Kale. Yeah, the, the Kabra goes. So we'll just have a conversation about that. So the Kabra attack does not go through, but he removes the topper. Sure, if that was intended. How much damage can he do here? I think he does get the draw of the K. 
KO with the attacks now. And he's got five in hand. He could panic the Jeet into something and leave his bloodless line. Attacks with KO. For autumn, he's got the chamber. Nice to okay. So he makes the chamber. Interesting enough. He does have Shagesh, so he's got damage on the board. He can pump this up quite high. Bring all in. It's 30. 40. 45. Double crit, although he thinks. Does he have it? I don't know, he doesn't, he doesn't quite have it. So, moving on to game 2, I have switched to the other side now. And this one's a bit of a stretch for me. Um, but yeah, so SS3 is on the left and Ginyu is on the right now. Hopefully we won't, well, we definitely won't have anyone passing across the camera. But um, apologies if it's slightly shaky, I did have to stretch this a bit for this. Just uh, yep, they're mulliganing now. So yeah, guys. I mean, uh, if you have any tips um, that you want to give me for the commentary, then please let me know. I do, I do want to improve these videos, and I do want to do uh, more matches as well, not just deck profiles and tournament reports. But uh, whatever it is, guys, just uh, you want to see, then just drop it in the comments. Uh, let me know, and I'll try my best to provide. So we've got blue and red charge from the SS3. Not ideal, but it's not terrible. It's not black or anything. But he probably wants to see the chain attack earlier rather than later. Got interesting charging yellow straight off the bat, so Bloodlust is live, but again you won't be able to um, set up his board as quickly. Bloodlust in the cabber, well. I'm not, not sure why he chose to bloodlust the cabra, to be honest. Um, it's not like Goku was self-awakening on this, unless he had no openings or something. We've got a Kale charged. Uh, one Khalifa in hand. We can see Ginyu's hand quite clearly. Not sure what's in SS3's hand though. Cab going in again, this time taking the life is successful. And it is blocked. Got Gohan coming in, probably choosing to draw. Yeah, um, still don't really understand why he didn't take the cabba to begin with. Not able to remove it from the board, but if he has his own cabin now, he, he doesn't have a kale. Charges a Khalifa. Okay. Can you? Oh, 
awakens and he has a cavern in hand which he's going to play. Okay, he grabs the Khalifa. He's going to put himself down to three. SS3 is on five at the moment. He goes down to three. I'm thinking of going aggressive again, but don't see what he can do here. Let's have a food. Okay, and Vegeta and the Shigesh. Next with the bomber again, he's going all in. What's he going to shake out? He must have thought he had a KO. He must have thought he had a KO, he doesn't. to be the Khalifa. Take a life. Really has to go all in now. Wow, I mean that's really cost him. Really cost him. Not having that kale to clear the board, so the Gohan and the Cabba's still on. Cabba's gone now, but I mean, does he have any choice other than to go all in? Trying to clear the board. It would have been cleared if the Cabba was there. sorry, the kale was there does end up managing to clear the board, but SS3 now on 3 life and can awaken. Does awaken, he now has... that's 4 red and 1 blue energy. Chained sack, surely he's not gonna zeno. To Haru Haru. Wow. So two battle cards for free there basically. Draws one for leader attack. The topo comes in, an aggressive topo. Coming in to clear the board. Wow. Is it gonna be stopped here? No. Let's see, I think this is going through. Chopper really putting in work here. Finally stops. It's got the clean crit coming in. Set one. Set 
Wow. Scoops up. There we go, he can't defend that. So the misplay there, thinking he had the KO, really, really cost him. And we're going to game three. So staying on the same side, um, arm is quite tight at this point. But we will soldier through it. I think Ginyu's been playing very aggressive, but I think if he hadn't made that misplay in the second game, he probably has this. Typically SS3 should do quite well against Ginyu, uh, against Veggies, but um, yeah, Ginyu's playing very, very aggressive. Probably wary of the chain attack center, so wants to get this finished quickly. The trunks he adds the kale and the crushable gets dropped. There we go, we have a Monarca. <laughs> so yeah, SS3 player was telling me about the secret fun tech he was having, but clearly that is it, the Monarca. That is out for everyone to see now. Turn to Kava coming in, very strong. Gets Kalifa as well. Very hard for Kevin to whiff, but which is known to happen. It's happened to me a few times. Twice in the game, actually. Obviously, I lost that one after that. Monarca being played, uh, double strike on the leader, draw one card. I haven't really seen this card outside Vegeta. I think the intention was to use it in late game. But clearly SS3 doesn't have a great hand. Shigesh is there. I think there's a Foo there as well. Pretty strong hand here for Ginyu. Does he have a Bloodlust? Takes the line. Kappa of the draw. There's two Shigesh there. The Kappa and Khalif are already set up. Shigesh comes down. Kale. No mistake this time. Three down to four now, so he can awaken. Big power spike for SS3. Thought there's another Shigesh in hand and the Champa as well. That 
and the tank gets blocked. And we have a, can't quite see, I think this is the Cabba. So we've got a Champa and a Khalifa coming down. That's 25 double. Uh, double, cr double crit, so... No, that couldn't have been the Cabba, that must have been the Kale. So it says three on two life now. Dangerous. I think there's a yes, there's a foo in hand. So foo's gonna hit the board now. SS3 only has a red left. And I believe at, at least one Piccolo has been played. Surely Ginyu has this in the bag. Checks with Cabba. Okay, probably try to bait something out, or can he Shigesh something else? He can Shigesh out Cabba. He might need to load up his drop before the foo can come out. Draws a kale. Wow. Wow. So there we have it. The food comes out. It's just three down to one. You sure you should guess the kale? There's no way he can stop this. Shigesh Kava. That's 40. Got 25 there. Thirty-five. Does he have this? No, we have that stop, but the kale has yet to attack. Kale swings, gets another draw. Well, oh, 25. This game. Game to Ginyu. So, again, very aggressive and he takes the match so thanks for watching guys um, again if you have any suggestions any tips about the commentary or about just making the match videos then please drop them in the comments if you like the video please leave a like it really helps and subscribe if you want more content so again the UK uh, Locals Meta video will be out later next week, so keep your eyes on that, and I will see you guys next time.